Hey guys, Jody at FusorgeMadeEasy.net. I promised today I would set up the freeze drying machine that I am borrowing for the summer. So I am going to show you a little of the setup process just because it does feel overwhelming sometimes. And so I wanted to show you that it's pretty easy because even I've been sitting here for a few weeks waiting to do it because it's just a little overwhelming. So it's not going to take very long, I'm hoping. So I'm going to show you each step of the process and then we're going to get something started. So the first thing the instruction said was to take off the gasket and um, rinse it off with cold water. So I did that and I'm just going to stick it back on here. Um, but I'll probably need two hands, but it comes off and on. Not, it's not too hard. So you can see I'm just pushing it back into the slots there. So that was step one. Okay, so the gasket is all back on. And then you also want to check and make sure your little feet them here the front ones are higher than the back ones so that it um, is at a little bit of an angle so you want it to angle towards the back okay and then it's time to put in the oil into your vacuum pump so there's the oil fill level so you want to fill it up to that line and this looks to me like you should pour the oil in there but I watched the video and you're actually supposed to pour the oil in this uh, where the red thing that says oil, you can't really see it, but it does say oil on it there at the bottom. So you wanna pour the oil in here, not in here, which I may or may not have started to do. So hopefully that's not a problem, but this is real world and you know, that's what it is. So we're gonna pour oil in here and I'm gonna try to do it two hands so I don't make a huge mess because I'm already making a mess. Okay, so I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I'm going to tell you guys all the things that I do dumb so you don't do them. So I, it didn't seem like it was even moving at all and I had poured in like half the bottle and it was still down to here. So I'm like, what the heck? So I poured a ton more at a time and then all of a sudden it was this high. So I think it only starts showing the fill line as it's almost full. So don't think that there's something wrong. And I believe the capacity is 21 ounces. So if you know you're getting close to that many ounces, then start start checking. But it's really hard to look, to be not spilling it in that hole and be looking at the fill line at the same time. So it probably would be easier with two people. So I'm gonna put the lid, the cap back on. Hopefully it's okay that it's overfilled a little bit. In the manual it says it must be above that line. So, yeah, let's see. Okay, there you go. That's the oil. The next step is to connect the hoses, the hose between uh, the, the pump. Probably gonna need two hands for this. But, so you just hand tighten them. So you do it from there to here. So it's just going to be a uh, connection between the, the vacuum pump and your free dryer in order to get that vacuum created inside the machine. And it says don't add anything, any tape or anything that's going to try to do this seal more than it should be. Just hand tighten it. So that's not too bad. So here's the next problem that I have. When I had someone help me bring this in, we didn't really think about it this right here I guess this is the drain valve and you need to close it and open it and it's stuck under my machine. I'm going to use my muscles and see if I can fix that. <sighs> Guys, this is why I do this so you don't have this happen to you. So the manual says to make sure this is um, closed and if you look really closely there's these tiny little words that say on and off. So I'm assuming off means closed, so we're going to leave it up. Hopefully we don't have a leak, because that would be bad. But we got it out. This is not the most ideal location for this, but I really wanted it to be inside so that I can use it more. I feel like I'll use it more and it'll be more protected, tucked away here in my office. So we're almost ready to go, yay! So the very last thing is to plug the plug there this plug into there and plug it into the wall and then we're going to do a test okay so everything's plugged in turned on so now we're going to test the pressure so it says to push start 
Reminder to close drain valve. That doesn't mean that it's closed. It just reminds me, which it is. And now that's the um, pump starting, I think. So it says initially you'll see freezing and then to click the clock button. didn't fail. Woohoo! Besides making a little bit of a mess, I think we're good. So this shows my torque got to 328. So then um, that means it was good enough and I can turn off the freeze dryer and then open the drain valve and that's going to release all the pressure and then I can do my first batch of goodies. So I'll show you what that is when I get it made. 